Hello there, everybody. My name's John. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I really do appreciate it. If you're a return visitor, thank you again for coming back. Today, we picked up from our lo local butcher a pork rib roast. I dry brined it last night. I did French it a little bit. Um, it was covered in meat all the way up to here, but for a little bit better presentation, I did cut through all the bones and peeled off as much as the meat as I can. If you've never done one of these and you're not a big beef fan, this is a great alternative to a holiday meal. Instead of doing like a prime rib, you can do a pork roast. We seasoned it last night with Cattleman's Trail Dust. And if you've never dry brined before, it does make a big difference. You can do it in just salt and a little bit of sugar, but um, we went ahead and did it um, with this seasoning. This stuff's good on beef, pork, chicken, veggies. It's, everything's good about it. Today we're gonna cook this on the big green egg. If you don't have a big green egg, you can do it in the oven. You wanna do it slow, um, probably about 275. We're gonna keep the dome temp on the egg between 275 and 300. Probably put a little bit of apple smoke in there. So put a big chunk of uh, apple wood in there on top of the regular charcoal. When we get ready to do that, we're gonna set it up for indirect cooking, bone side down, probably put it in the V-rack that we have for there just to keep it elevated and, and everything. If you don't have the ability to cook it on a smoker or a charcoal grill set up for indirect or a, even a pellet smoker would work great. Um, you can, like I said, do it in the oven, but probably wanna do it in some kind of rack or elevated on a wire rack in your pan if you can. So we're gonna get the egg fired up and I'll get this on there in just a little while. <laughs> One last look before it goes on the big green egg. Doesn't that look good? All right, we've got the egg fired up and it's getting up to temperature. To go along with our pork, once it's done, we are gonna make a onion and apple compote of sorts. Um, so we're gonna slice up the onions, cook them down a little bit, slice up the uh, apples and throw them in after the onions have cooked a little bit. Once they're all cooked through, we're gonna add a third of a cup of maple syrup that we got from Leah's brother and they do maple syrup up in New Hampshire. Lucas and Heather, thank you. And we got gray poupon, any type of Dijon mustard will work. So we'll do about a third of a cup of this, third of a cup of syrup. And then we're gonna also finish it with a little bit of golden raisins too, just to be a little bit, something a little bit different. They all should go together. Onions, apples, raisins, um, the Dijon and, and maple syrup will be really good. So we'll get this all processed up and then we'll get, get them on the stove top and uh, show you what we're doing.
Now we're going to add the third cup of Dijon mustard and the third cup of maple syrup. We're going to stir until the sauce thickens. Probably about five to seven minutes. So we're going to temp the pork roast now. When I did temp it near the bone, it was 148, 150, but the center of the roast was still in the 120s. I probably should have flipped it, but I didn't want to mess up the perfect looking exterior. So I pulled it when the internal was about 135 in the center. I full wrapped it and let it come up to temp. After about 15 or 20 minutes, the temp in the center was between 145 and 148, which is perfect. All right, it took about probably an hour and 20 minutes on the egg, probably about 300 dome temp. And then I took it off, let it rest for about 20 minutes now. So let's see how we do it. It temped out at like 145, 148, so no need to cook pork to uh, 160 like we used to. That is perfectly done. Get it plated up. Twice baked sweet potatoes to go with it too. And our apple, onion, raisin, compote, I guess you could say. Well, here's dinner. I'll give it a try here. Smoky, that seasoning that we used on it, absolutely amazing. Super tender, very good. If you guys have never tried one of these, you need to make sure you try one because it is so good. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.